So hey guys, happy November 1st. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Andrea. I'm a dermatologist, vlogger, and skin-focused YouTube creator. And today I wanted to uh, kick off what is going to be a month-long series on my channel that I'm gonna call Thankful for Skin Care. And in this series, once a week, I'm gonna post a video where I talk about a key skincare ingredient that I'm thankful for as part of my everyday skincare routine. I'm gonna post these videos for you guys at the beginning of the week. So make sure, first of all, that you're subscribed so you'll know right away when they go live. And for those of you original subbies in skin, don't you worry, I'm gonna continue to vlog and during the week, I'll continue to talk about the skincare ingredient and little tidbits throughout my day and showcase how I use it. So kicking off the series for the first week of November, a skincare ingredient that I am so thankful for as part of my everyday skincare routine is benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is an ingredient that's found in a lot of different over-the-counter gels, creams, face washes, body washes, and masks. And if you've been following my vlogs, you know I love to do a good mask. I'm thankful for benzoyl peroxide because it's a real workhorse in taking care of my skin. It has what's known as a comedolytic property, which basically means it helps break down clogged up pores. I'm also thankful for benzoyl peroxide because in addition to breaking down the little plugged up pores, benzoyl peroxide also is anti-inflammatory. I have a tendency towards inflammatory acne around my jaw area. The third property of benzoyl peroxide that I'm thankful for is the fact that it's antibacterial. You heard it, folks. It can actually cut down on unwanted skin bacteria. But unlike antibiotics, bacteria cannot become resistant to benzoyl peroxide. So I'm really grateful for that. And for those of you original subbies in skin, you know that I like a good bargain. So I'm really grateful for benzoyl peroxide because it is cheap. Okay, this one little one ounce tube of benzoyl peroxide is less than $8 at the drugstore. And this tube lasts me three to four months. So I'm really thankful for that, that I don't have to spend a lot of money, that it's antibacterial, but the bacteria can't become resistant to it. It's anti-inflammatory and it breaks down my plugged up pores. So I don't want this video series just to be me raving about a particular ingredient. I wanna give you my honest experience with using it. There are two things that I really don't like about it. First of all, it's very drying, and because it's very drying, I find that my skin can become irritated by this quite easily. The second thing that I don't like about it is that when it's wet, if it gets on fabric, it bleaches the fabric. So I ru I've ruined so many towels as a result of the benzoyl peroxide. I've been using benzoyl peroxide pretty consistently now for many, many years. I've learned to deal with the dryness and irritation by first putting on a moisturizer before I use the benzoyl peroxide. And over time, my skin has just gotten used to it and I no longer experience the dryness and the irritation that I did in the beginning. Towel bleaching. That's something that you can't get over. You just have to be patient and wait for it to dry. But other than that, I'm quite fond of it. So while I am a board certified dermatologist and have a lot of background in understanding the science of how these ingredients work, this is by no means a treatment recommendation. You should get that from your doctor. So I use benzoyl peroxide in a variety of different ways. My favorite and my OG way of using it is in a simple gel. And I'm a fan of this brand Zapsit because like I said, it's pretty cheap. Now I mentioned that I really love to do masks, Neutrogena Clear Pore Cleanser Mask Mambo Combo that has 3.5% of benzoyl peroxide in it. So I use this as a face wash every morning, and then about once a week I will use it as a mask. But I pretty much live in gym clothes when I'm not in work clothes. I use a benzoyl peroxide body wash, and I found that I've really cut down on the number of those unsightly breakouts in my back as a result of uh, being a gym junkie. If you want to know more, check out my vlogs. Uh, in addition to being entertaining day in the life of a dermatologist style videos, I actually show myself using a lot of these products and talk about how I put them on while I'm doing it, which I think can be helpful because um, it's not intuitive in terms of using a cream uh, or a gel or a wash, how you should use it. And sometimes just watching someone else do it can be helpful. So if that's something that interests you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and follow along with Follow along on my vlogs. If anything, I guarantee you'll laugh and you may learn something along the way, which is the intention here. So this week I'm thankful for benzoyl peroxide, but as always, I'm very thankful for all of you and for all of your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends, give it a thumbs up, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. Bye.